And I'm back, and it's payday. I wish. Not yet, but it's almost payday. Okay, so now we're going to talk about income tax. This is something that we pay out of what we make when we are working. Unfortunately, you don't get to keep all the money that you make. It's always going somewhere. So, um, in a minute, we're going to fill in part of this, and then you're going to go back to uh, Go Formative, and you're going to finish the rest. So, today, what you're looking for is the one um, that says... Payday, baby. Okay, so that's the one you're looking for today. It's payday, baby. Let's see, what color do I want this one to be? Hmm, we'll make it red. Okay, so now I'm going to zoom in now because it's really small. My eyes cannot see that small anymore. Okay, so with income tax. We talked in our um, instructional video, we talked about different things that it was, um, different parts that came out and things like that. So income tax is a percentage taken from income that you earn. Okay, it's taken out of your paycheck by the employer. Um, there are several types of income taxes. Okay, um, another way that you might say taken, um, sometimes they say withheld. That's probably um, one of the most popular ways they say withheld. So income tax is a percentage withheld from income. Um, so taken or withheld. We'll, I'll use them both interchangeably, so, but that way you know which both ways. Um, so anyway, sorry, it's Friday, not for y'all, but it is for me, I'm doing this on a Friday. Okay, so the first type, and we already talked about it in our instructional video, we're just going to fill it in here, is the federal income tax. Okay, it's a progressive tax. It's money that's sent to the federal government for military defense, education, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, the next type that's taken out is the Medicare. Now, this is used to help pay for um, health services for the elderly. So, when Miss Long is old and gray and can't afford to pay for her health insurance really anymore, um, she'll get Medicare. And so, y'all will be working then, hopefully, if you can pass math, which means you have to do your work. Um, y'all will be helping pay for Miss Long's health insurance. Thank you ever so much ahead of time. Okay. And then the last one um, is your Social Security. Now, this is something that you put in. And then once you get 60, um, 62 and a half, you can start drawing Social Security. So you start getting a, a monthly check, and it's just money that you put into the system as you were working. Now you start getting some of that money back um, as you get older, because you're not always going to be able to work. So you start getting some of that money back. It's not as much as if you were getting a paycheck, but you do start getting some of it back. So that is nice. So those are the three different types. Okay. So now, let's talk about Santiago. So, Santiago. All right. So, okay, back to Santiago. Had to take a short break for a minute. Had a war with my kiddos at home. All right. So, Santiago's gross income. Now, remember, we talked about gross income in our instructional video. Gross income is what your paycheck looks like at the beginning before they take anything else. Okay? Gross. I don't know why they call it gross. But they do. So, gross income is where we start. 
net income is what you actually bring in. And the way I, I try to remember them is if you think about like if you've ever gone fishing or you've ever seen fishing, sometimes they use nets. And so nets are what help you bring it in. So your net income is what you bring in. Okay? So that's what you're actually bringing home. So that net helps you bring that money home. That's how I try to keep them separate because sometimes I forget to. All right. So if Santiago ha has a gross income of $1,850 for the month, and they're going to take out 6% Social Security, I've got to take that $1,850, and I've got to multiply it by that 6%. But remember, we're not multiplying it by 6 We're multiplying it by the decimal that represents 6%, which we did a lot of practice with that yesterday. But that... 0 0.06. So we're going to multiply that by 0 0.06. So when we do that, remember we have two digits after the decimal. Okay? So when we do that, that means that they are going, why did they do that? They are going to take out $111 out of his paycheck. Okay, so in a minute, when um, you go to your Go Formative page, you're going to be able to fill this one in, and you better get it all right because we're doing it together. I mean, seriously. So they're taking out $111 in Social Security. Okay, so now Medicare, they're only taking out 1%. Now we're not multiplying by 1. What are we multiplying by? We're multiplying by 0 0.01. Okay? So we are multiplying by 0 0.01. So we're taking that 1850 and we are multiplying by 0 0.01. And yes, Miss Long is sitting right over here and doing the math with you. Okay? Remember, we cannot use calculators in seventh grade. So there is no reason for you to get used to using them now and then not being able to do your math. You need to go ahead and be practicing your math. So we're going to multiply by 0 0.01. So when we do that, remember we have two digits, so we have to move that decimal place two times. So for Medicare, they are going to take out a whopping $18.50. Okay? So now my total withholding. My total withholdings, what do I do? I have to add those two things together, right? So I take the $111 and I add the, the $18.50. So that gives me what my total withholdings are. So my total withholdings are $129.50. So from that $1,850, they're going to keep $129.50. So what is his net income? Okay, that's what he is bringing home with that net, right? Okay, so he's scooping up that net. He's scooping up what's left. So you're going to take that $1,850 and you're going to subtract the $129.50. $129.50, okay? Now, remember, when we're adding and subtracting decimals, we line them up. Do we care when we're multiplying? No. But we do when we're adding and we're subtracting. So you've got to make sure that you line up those decimals so you don't mess anything up and get your numbers off. So he is going to net $1,729.50. Okay, so that's why he scooped up with that net, and he netted it, and he brought it on home. All right? All right. Okay. We're going to do one more together, and then you're going to do the rest of them in Go Formative. Now, again, you're going to put these in Go Formative as well, but these should be easy peasy. These are free ones, right? Because we're doing them together. Okay. So Peter Grossed. $1,400 this month. Now, remember, though, they took out 6% for 
Social Security. Now we're not multiplying by 6. We're multiplying by the decimal that represents that 6%, which is 0 0.06. How many digits are we dealing with at the end? Two. So after we do this multiplication, we have to move that decimal twice. So for Social Security, they are going to take out $84. Okay. All right. They're going to take out eighty-four dollars. That's his social security. Now let's talk about Medicare. We're going to take that fourteen hundred. Now are we multiplying by one? No. We're multiplying by the number that represents that one percent. What number represents 1%? Point zero 0.01. So we're going to multiply that 1400 by point zero 0.01. Again, don't know why my computer just went black. That was weird. Okay. Remember, again, we have two digits. So that's what we have to have in the end is two digits. So when we multiply the 1400 by 0.01, that tells us that they are going to take out $14 for Medicare. Add up a little bit. All right, so now total withheld holdings. Remember, to do total withholdings, we add the two together. They withheld $84 for Social Security. They withheld $14 for Medicare. So total withholdings, we add those together. So 84 and 14 gives us withholdings of $98. Okay. So now we know how many, how much withholdings they kept out. So now we can take that from that 1400 and that's what he's going to scoop up with that net and bring on home. So that'll be his net income. So we have the 1400 and we're going to subtract the $98. So that means that he is netting, so he's scooping up, he's netting $1,302.00, okay? So that is your income tax. Now, when you go to go formative, remember, you're looking for payday, baby. And you will fill in Santiago and Peters on there. But like I said, we've already done it together. So it, that one should be easy. And then you will do Jasmine and Royce's. And then you will do Dr. Rodriguez. Now, this one over here is, again, like yesterday, it's an algebraic equation. And we're not there yet. So I omitted it. Um, but again, I had already uploaded it before I realized it. Um, so it doesn't say omit on yours, but, um, I just didn't put a number with it. So you just won't have it to do. So you need to do this and go formative and then you will need to come back in here and you will need to click on your link for your MOL. Okay. So that's what you have to do for today. So you have to finish up this worksheet. And then you have your MOL. And make sure you've done your warm-up. So many of you still don't want to do your warm-up, guys. That's a grade. Come on. Do your warm-up. All right. So that's it for today. Um, tomorrow, you just have your weekly MOL. 
which is right here. So it combines the word problems, the sales tax, and the income tax. Okay? So that's all you'll have tomorrow along with your warm-up. So you have those two things. So make sure you get those done. So now, once you have filled in what we have talked about together, and once you've done your go formatives, and once you've done your MOLs and your warm-ups, you are complete. Okay? So make sure you've gotten all that stuff done. And remember, I have copies of everything. So don't be telling parents that you're done and you haven't been done because I can show them different. Come on, guys. Do your work. Take pride in your job and your work. Okay, your job right now is to be a student. Take pride in that. I've taken pride in doing my job and doing the best I can do for you guys. And I need y'all to do the same for me. Okay? We've got to learn this. This is important. This is life stuff, guys. Okay? This is going to impact your life in the long run. So get this stuff done. Take pride in it. Do it right. Work hard. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye.